Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues playing as Kaisar's Legion. So, this episode, I think, will be titled, Every Legionary a Hound. Now, I've kind of thought about this, and I want to reproduce or create more doggos. Good old dogs that I can throw onto my infantry, my legionary divisions. Now, I can't do it yet, but uh, I'll definitely do it eventually. Just because it gives you a little more breakthroughs, a little more stuff to attack, as well as recon. We can really throw on a lot of recon on these support things. Well, from the support companies of recon as well as doggos. I love the doggos so much. Okay, the NCR declared war on the Mojave Raiders, which is interesting because they have a they're justifying against me through the through their focus assault on Hoover Dam. So right now we're training some soldiers here to make sure that they're extra okay. But I'm just looking through my laws and government and of course military staff. So right now we have Ki Kaiser's Hound hides his teeth so we get more resources. But because I did that, if we go down to military staff or military high command. I cannot do Dog of War so that dogs can get more breakthrough as well as more soft attack because I already have Hides' Teeth. So I can either choose this one or I can choose the Resource Efficiency Gain. In the end, I'm going to choose Dog of War just because we will eventually have more than enough resources. But right now, we got plenty enough political power in which... Mm, scavenge for equipment. Let's, let's see... 75% chance, scavenge for robots, I don't even use those equipment. That's not bad, but for 100 days, I'm not sure about that. Let's see, I don't mind losing a little bit of research speed for more um, stability. That'd be very nice. Legionnaire. Legionnaire. Yeah, sorry, pronunciations are weird. Um, so yeah, I could spend my political power on something right now, but we mu the war for Hoover Dam, the assault, I guess, it's really just an assault won't put us at war just yet. If I lose a Hoover Dam, that would be good for resources, but I really don't care because if they win, they get cores, they get Mojave fortifications, power to the people. If they lose, they lose some stability. If you still own Boulder City, the border between it and the Hoover Dam will be fortified with three outposts, whatever. Um, if they lose, they get more population, stability, and war support, and ooh, oh god no. Better power armor construction. So I want them to win because for us, like I explained in the last video, if we win, then we get Triumph at the Dam, which we lose some military bonuses, I guess you could say, or properties, which happens for whether you win or lose. If we continue to win, we get some factories and two outposts. We get faster division training time, minimum training level. We get Tumble Home and a few divisions, and we transfer resources from... Hoover Dam to Flagstaff, which is okay. But if we lose, we, of course, the Burn Man and the Traffic of the Dam is basically the same one. We lick the Bull's Wounds, we get more population as well as better reinforce rate. We get, of course, two Arms Workshops and two Outposts, but we also get, like the other one, five Elite Infantry Units, but we also get Tumble Home, and yeah, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, two Naval Bases, yeah. We really want to actually lose because that would give us more population and reinforce rate, which is what I really, really want. So, like I said, we're running out of resources. I'm trying to make a few doggos, but... God, I need more water. So I'll trade away one more factory. Or not trade, just... I'll trade one factory for quite a bit of water. Yeah. I like it. Doggos? Oh, we're going to make two doggos a day. I don't know how fast our breeding machines are, but... I think we're breeding them the old natural way. But anyways, what are we producing right now? We're producing quite a few metal, scrap metal factories, which is nice. Uh, go ahead and do that for now. This landing stuff, that's okay. That'll be good to do. finish that off. Um, stability for war support or more stability. Well, we got so much political power. I don't want to spend all of it one time. So let's go ahead and stage an incident at the Route 95 border, in which we get another arms workshop. All these just give you is just arm workshops, which is okay. It's not bad. I'm pretty sure it's pretty important, but that's all right. Oh, homestead slaves. Ah, more production efficiency cap. I love it. Smoke out the rats. I don't want to fight them yet. I want to fight the Western Brotherhood when it is, or really any brotherhood, until I'm really ready to do so and I have some anti-tank. 
Um, get cords on the broken steel. Uh, research speed, that's not bad. Energy weapons, deconstructing perfection. Ooh, power armor bonus. That's not bad either. Honor the steel breakers. Unlock steel breakers. The le legendary legion that was successful in cracking the Brotherhood's bunker and defeating them in combat has become the legendary steel breakers. Cool. Um, blacksmith recruitment. We can make factories and civilian factories faster. Blacksmiths are not uncommon in the wasteland. Men and women who warp metal into a shape befitting a task. Yet these people are often incapable of getting necessary equipment and funding to open their own establishments. No more. Alright, so we gotta keep it... Oh, actually, NCR isn't doing very well whatsoever. Interesting. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna tell these guys to stop training for now, just because I want them to be fully ready to go whenever we go to war with wh whomever, which would be good. Um, let these guys stop training. I actually changed all my motorized. Instead of... Legion chariots. They're all now just the cult of Nass. So they're all 20 combat with which is better than what we had earlier. Ooh, another one of you Navajo Nation members. How how are you guys doing so well? How are the Raiders beating up on the NCR? They're not gonna hold for that long. But uh because they don't have a lot of manpower and there are a lot of divisions. NCR has quite a few divisions and quite a bit more manpower than the Mojave Raiders. Oh, these guys got encircled, they're gonna die. Come on, Mojave Raiders, just keep those guys still. War assault on Hoover Dam. I, if we win at Hoover Dam, I will let you know that I'm going to continue to press further into uh, whatever territory I can. Because usually there's an event where if you take Hoover Dam, then you can press further into enemy territory. So we're going to try that. Also, I do want to go to war with still with Genta Del Sol. But obviously, I don't think we'll end up in a war with the NCR right now. That's for later. This is merely a skirmish, so let's see what I'm gonna see what happens. I'll spend my political power after we see what happens with the NCR. All right, are my Navajo Nation members ready to go? They're not bad. I mean, they're they're here. I mean, they're only they're not even twenty combat width, which is kind of a problem. Hmm. I did change my legionary into twenty combat width, but. Y'all are only 18. If I throw on another infantry company, battalion, uh, that'd be too small. Ooh, I throw on a militia unit. That will help a little bit. Uh, that would barely lower our organization and recovery rate. That would give us a little bit more defense, a little bit more breakthrough, soft attack, hard attack, suppression, organization. And that would still be under 20 combat width. Weight, piercing goes down, but it doesn't really matter. It's only one combat width. That's not bad. It's okay. It's not great. But that's alright. As long as it's less than 20 combat width, I'm okay with that. Wait. Did we lose? Did we automatically lose? Or... Huh. What just happened? They took Hoover Dam. Wait, they just took it? How? How? Defense of Bonelli Landing. To our surprise, NCR was victorious at the dam. Okay, we lost. That's okay. And even now presses on further. Kaiser, Kaiser is furious at the Malpais Legate and now stands to lose his entrance into the Mojave. The scattered Legion forces must be united for defense. We don't have manpower to spare. Oh, they lose manpower. The Legion pushes back. Uh, throw everything we have at the oncoming NCR. Well, we do want to lose the dam for now. Um... We don't have the manpower to spare. Let's do that for now. Because we can hold pretty darn well. And I'm kind of surprised that the NCR was able to do that. And Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting to see that. Regardless, let's get some grenade rifles. Oh, I want to do doggos, though. I love the doggos. Yeah, grenade rifles. Why not? Because nothing says Kaisar's Legion like grenade rifles. So, the Mojave... My Navajo Nation warriors here. Second... Whoa! After our forces overrun the dam and broke through the enemy lines, we attempted to eradicate the enemy once and for all. However, our units encircled, and in enemy territory, we were defeated! With our army broken, the enemy is free to take back the dam, and we have suffered catastrophic losses. Holy cow! That was much worse than I thought what would happen. Now we can feel justified in crucifying every single member of the NCR when it is time. I was not expecting that whatsoever. So, that's not good. But that's okay. So, because now we can go with the burn man, which is exactly what I wanted to do. 
And we have blacksmith recruitment. And my cat Binky is calling outside the door. Let's go ahead and do the burn man. The war for the dam was lost, and somebody must be held responsible. Joshua Graham, once the most esteemed general in the Legion, was largely at fault for the failed offensive. An example must be made out of him. Damn straight, son. Uh, hold on, Binky. I'm still playing the game. I'm playing as Kaisar here, Bink. I'll, I'll let you inside here very soon after I choose a decision to take. Hmm. Military high command. Motorize is okay. Recovery rate's okay. Ah, uh, there's really not much I can do. Industrial stuff. I'm still focusing a lot on the industry. Electronics is still very, very important. Material designer. Let's go with infantry equipment for now, just because I'm going to need to focus that on that quite a bit. So that's actually really disappointing that they took even here. The NCR is very, very aggressive. Very, 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 very aggressive, which is fine. They did the urban draft, long march home. They lost some stability. They'll get some power armor, potentially, in the new hardline, so we'll definitely see what happens after that. Definitely don't want to fight the NCR just yet, and if you give me just a moment to get my cat in here, hopefully... Binky! Binky! Come on! Binky. Come on! Come on! Yeah, you okay? Yeah! Alright, guys, uh... And... Binky's back in the room, now sitting on my chair. Thanks a lot, Binky. Ah, the burned man! So... Lick the bulls, ooh. Lick the bulls, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, it's only seven days, so we want to do that. The war for Hoover Dam left us wounded, with many lost in the attempt for the dam. More legionnaires must be trained to keep, to make up for the fallen as we regather our strength, which is exactly true. We're still making a lot of units, tons and tons of units, and we're going. No, the malpice legate has been removed. No, well, someone had to be made an example out of. That's unfortunate. Ah, he was leading the Praetorian Guard, but now we have Legate Lanius. Supply consumption, more division at attack. Does he get that? He does get the bonus, the Conqueror bonus. Nice. Oh, he's level 5. Um, Centurion Pontus. You're good at defending. Uh, you know what? With the Conqueror ability... Oh, they actually added that into the game. That's just an earned trait that can be applied, I think, to both Field Marshals as well as Generals. So, my Praetorian Guards, they're really going to start killing a lot of people. Like, with more attack as well as less supply consumption. Tasty. Very tasty. Alright. Well, at least the NCR is still struggling a little bit with Mojave Raiders. That's nice to see. You guys, throw you over here. That'll be good. The Bajo Nation, you'll be doing fine. We got Chariots over there. Guarding against Nipton. Lick the Bull's Wounds. Um, the fort. We'll do the White Leg petition next. The White Legs, a nearby tribe, have repeatedly petitioned to join the Legion. As we now have a use for them, we should allow them to join us for the future. So as long as they attack the new Canaanites for us. Yes, that's right. I will enslave some Mormons before I'm done. Mm, I'm going to make a new army here. Out of the WD, the Withered Dogs. Because I don't want them mingling with, actually, the new Canaanites, they don't have dead horses under them, that's good. White legs are up there. I have no way to get up to the white legs unless I go through dead horses. Nice. Oh, recon companies, awesome. Uh, because I don't want the Navajo Nation slave warriors, as well as the um, withered dog slave warriors, talking to each other. I really don't. I don't think that would be very good for us. So let them be independent of each other as we use and maybe abuse them. But it's all for Kaiser's good end goals. We'll say that. All for the end goals. Alright, let's go ahead and take out... So oh, I should not have... I, well, actually, you guys are doing okay. Give them a few days. Um, If I want to attack New Canaan, we're probably going to be in a defensive war against them for quite a while. Just because they're kind of large and they'll probably like try to attack us like crazy... Um, let's go ahead and justify on them. It'll take quite a while, so that'd be okay. Three, two, one. Oh, you got another division down there. Very nice. Shouldn't be too many losses. Just enough, though. Oh, irrigation. I love it. Thank you, my allies. And uh, a little bit ahead of time, a little bit ahead of time, a little bit ahead of time. Engineering stuff. Ah, more research speed. Everyone loves research. Also, I have some coffee here that I need a drink. Not bad. 
Not bad. Mm, you know what? I'm thinking about doing monoplane attackers, but I want ground pounders. Let's see. So the monoplane attacker, I'm really focused on ground attack. 18. The ground pounder has 4. The naval striker has 18. And the light attacker has only 5. So really, if I want to maximize my ground attack with monoplane attackers, I would go for the ground pounder. Uh, actually, let's compare this two again. So the monoplane attacker is on the right. Um, this has less agility, which is fine. The AI so far doesn't really focus very much on planes that much, as far as I know. Maybe they changed it, but maybe not. Obviously, more ground attack. Uses a little bit more cells. Has a little bit better strategic bombing and a little bit less range. Interesting. Now, I, do, I will not do that at the moment, but I will want more dogs. And you'll get more soft attack if we do this. Warhound platoons. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I just need more resources. That's all I need. And there goes the Mojave Raiders. Interesting. Oh, wait, hold on. What was that? What is that nation? Dayglow. Oh, Dayglow. I've not seen that flag before. Power to the people. Oh, Los Ejercito Mexicano or Santa Ana declare one of the remnants of Petro Chico Corp. Uh, alright. And then they could. I could go to war with the NCR at any time. So we gotta remember that. Oh, these guys are trying to break over, break free. Well, we'll see what happens with those guys. Ah, oh, but I do love this army XP I'm getting. Oh, expert delegator. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that was a waste. Of you're not a field marshal, Vulpus. But maybe someday you'll be. Maybe. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, did you guys already complete all your orders? Tierra City? And go right ahead. Just go ahead. Just push them as hard as you can out of this area. Uh, that includes all you guys, too. Because as they want to come over here, which I'm okay with, you know, they want to go over there, whatever, I'll just take out the rest of your cities then. Not too worried about it, though. Hmm. That's where the Praetorian Guard went. Wonder where they went. Dogs. How many dogs do I have in reserve? Not a lot. And I need more resources, too. Very interesting to see that we're not really trying to push in super hard. Well, just please come down here. Please. Please clap. Please. Hmm. Because they sent all their divisions this way, which, well, a lot of their divisions doesn't make a lot of sense. Alright, I mean, just need a little bit of time. I just gotta keep an eye on the NCR. Because once they start doing war for, or war to kill me, it's go time. It's really, really, really go time. Mm. Um. Give me one of you bad boys to take on this peninsula. You okay, Bink? Yeah, Bink, you okay? There we go. And like I said before, I'm going to puppet them. Because I need them for Coast Guard duty. Coast Guards. Genta del Sol. Where's the Melissa? Melissa. That's not bad. Oh, this is better. Yeah, copy this one. Right, we're going to edit this division immediately. Ten defense is fine. Give them some of that. Give them a little bit of that, because why not? Oh, it's only nine. Nice. You could probably throw in a militia division too. Nah, no, you can't. That's fine. Whatever. I'm gonna need a lot of these guys, so go ahead and do that. Uh, you can respond in your own home city, and I'm gonna need a lot of you. Oh, and go to the coasts when you're good and ready. Now, because of the war for the NCR, we might be in very soon. I just don't know when we're gonna be at war with them. Nice. Centurion Sextus. More defense. Beautiful. Uh, for you, I'm going to throw you under a new field marshal for now. Because you guys, or you, are going to come down here. You're going to take their place. And I'm going to maneuver these guys to be kind of, hopefully, a mobile, moving mobile defensive unit, just in case the NCR might navally invade me. If they do that, then I will be ready. Of course, we need to take Tumble Home, which I'll focus on that next. 
But not bad. Uh, am I my own faction yet? Yes, I am my own faction. Not bad. We're doing pretty well with size. Oh, the Nevada Pact is here. Children of the Gate, Northern League. Interesting. I'm going to leave the Tohono Nation alone. So because, well, actually, if I did take the Tohono Nation, they couldn't really get to me unless they invaded me. Okay, the Shi have some serious huevos. They declared war on the Brotherhood of Steel. Or Western Brotherhood. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure why you would do that, but you know what? Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it, man. What to do with my current divisions? How many more days until we go to war with dead horses? It's quite a few more days ahead. Um, I'm going to have you guys. You know, I'm going to have Vulpus. Vulpus is doing pretty well. No, I'm going to have you instead. So, y'all will do something like that. Actually, just two divisions because they can't get here. You all come here to here. Vulpus, you're going to guard from here all the way around here. Now we can throw things in and out. Uh, my Praetorian guards, however, you're going to come up to dead horses and maybe hold whoever we might declare war on off. Hopefully. And that reminds me, can I expand my Praetorian guard yet? I want 20 combat width for all these soldiers. Thick. Daddy. Yes. Awesome. That's really good. Very, very good. Um, you know what? Let's throw on some... Oh, recon. That would be even better. So for a, just a point more breakthrough. Where we get more recon, and we might throw in dogs, too. Every legionnaire a hound. Yeah, do that. And then I'll probably throw in some anti-tank here when we go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel, if needed. Now, I'm not throwing all the dogs on there yet. we got to wait a little bit, just because we have a lot of divisions that need it. Awesome, White Legs Petition. Let's go ahead and do the Fort. Fortification Hill, just before the dam, is a prime location to begin the rebuilding of forces to retake the dam. We should construct a camp there to train new legionnaires and command from there. Awesome. Military Society, that's not really worth it. Manpower, we are mobilizing a few more men because of the bull's wounds. Close air support. Oh, you okay, Bink? You okay? Stretching out a little bit. Nueva Atzlan, declare one. Nueva Atz. Civil War time? Civil War? Does someone say Civil War? Uh, let's lower you by two, maybe. Oh, we're not making any doggos anymore. Uh, a little bit more water, please. Thank you, Navajo Nation. Oh, Genta del Sol. Thank you. In our time of need, I really need more. Definitely need more. If that's the case, just do that. Ah, the fort. But good. Crossing the Colorado. With the first attempt at being less successful, perhaps another method of crossing the Colorado could be explored. Ports will be constructed along the river to mount some naval assaults. Oh, white legs want a non-aggression pact. That sounds bueno from me. Incidents. Yeah, more factories. What are we producing? We're doing pretty. W we're doing better on scrap metal. Not great. Ooh, rejection of automation that really hurts us. If we could get rejection of automation, then we would be totally f well, probably fine. Probably. Uh, when are we going to get our next divisions? Very soon. Halfway done-ish. Definitely taking a while. Crossing the Colorado. Very nice. You take my lands, and cut and uh, NCR. I take your lands. Ooh, crossing party. I love a good crossing party. Yep. Think you okay? Yeah? He just wants to... You okay, Bink? Wow, he... I'm sure you guys can hear that. Wow, he is, uh... He is my hound. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, so these are 20 combat width. Not bad. Oh, they They actually have recon on them already. Nice. Uh, they're only 18 combat width. That's not bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them on to you, because that will solve that problem. Crossing party. I could throw on a demo company. Yeah, I could. Nice. Awesome. Five more divisions. That's great. Um, I don't want to actually give Vulpus all the experience down here. So. Uh, Centurion Magnus. Are you the defensive guy? No, you're not. I think it was Deodatus. Yes, 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 yes. Let him come over here and defend this type of area. Now, it's probably going to kill our supply situation. That's kind of okay. You okay, B? Wow. Wow. Um, poking the bear. Nice. We get political power at the expense of the NCR. 
and they are our main enemy, the massive final conquest of the Legion. The bear lies in hibernation, only outstretching a paw into the Mojave. We must wake the bear from its slumber so we can do battle. Absolutely. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. More grenade, grenade stuff. We can't do that yet, but we will soon. I need logistic companies, but I need some anti-tank eventually. Hmm, what about infantry? Can't do that yet. Exclusive with... Huh. We'll do that in a little bit. Let's get some pioneer kits so we can help our Praetorian Guard. And, of course, do this. Awesome. So we got you over here. Give me you. You don't need to be doing all that since we have that. We need to cover, cover this, so you will stay here. And then you all will come... Uh, actually, it's not bad. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Where are you all at? Oh, you're already highlighted. You're right there. You know what? You all can come and be right there and tell these guys to move away. Nice. Oh, man, I have to rethink this. Oh, Vulpus, you're still over here. Yeah. You guys do that. That would be great. Sorry, with Binky being Binky and being weird, he kind of made me stop thinking. Sorry. I stopped thinking because of Binky. You do that. That'd be fine for now. Uh, ooh, more soldiers. Good. We're going to need them for the war with NCR. What are they currently doing, though? Founding Port Aradesh. Yes, I will poke the bear. A worthy foe. In which we get 2% more recruitable population, a war goal against uh, the NCR, and more army experience. For the first time, the Legion has encountered a foe perhaps more powerful than itself, and the, the first foe that Kaisar is ideologically opposed to. The NCR is indeed a worthy foe for Kaisar's fledgling Legion. Oh, and there goes my cup. There goes Kamal Station. Uh, we got a few outposts here. That's not bad. We should be able to hold no matter what happens. We got 24 divisions over there. We've got a few divisions over here. You know, I'm going to stretch this line out a little bit. Just so that it's not too bad. And we can cycle soldiers in, soldiers in and out if we get attacked around here. That's good over there. Uh, definitely need more Coast Guards. We have you four trying to still get over here because having you four over here might be good enough it might not be so i'm going to throw in one one fort okay maybe two maybe two forts right there and what is that was that i thought i saw a radiate there it is radiation storm oh that's not good oh a stim pack i love stim packs stim me up baby uh yeah keep doing that i want to make sure we have as many soldiers as humanly possible you okay pink Yep, keep keep biting my shorts. Just keep biting them. Not bad. Pretty good. We need a general for this guy over here. That's okay. Praetorian guards. Training programs. Nice. More soft attacks. Suppression bonus. Reliability. Training dogs. Purebred mutts. Yes, please. Um, anything we could do? Maybe want more stability, perhaps? Consumer goods. What are we producing? So producing some of that. Oh, I don't want to limit what we have right now. Down here, we should definitely be able to hold no matter what. We actually might be able to do a pretty good breakthrough through the south. The north might be a problem, especially up here. Since we really only have one division over here. Over here, we're only, only going to have four, which isn't ideal. That's why we're building up forts. When is the next group of soldiers being released? you got eight Coast Guards there. you got a couple there, a couple there. Our own Legion is coming up to speed not bad it just we just got to keep in mind if the NCR is gonna go to war with us holy crap the she's actually doing fairly well they even got more manpower than the last time we saw them oh man are we gonna see a she instead of a Western Brotherhood of Steel that would be cool that would be very cool hmm oh military oh we got rid of the last legate That's unfortunate. Non-core manpower. Division organization. Effective partisans. That's not bad. Could be better. War shaman. Mm, how about aircraft designer? Can I get more stuff for close air support? I see close air support. Planes. More ground attack and reliability. I like that. Victoria flyers. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, when we're defending, we're gonna have to really make sure that we've got enough close air support, which we're not making any. Because we are out of a lot of materials. Um, Mojave Chapter New Vegas. Oh. Thank you. That's why I keep my puppets here. Energy. Mojave Chapter. Yeah, I'll keep doing that for now. Scrap. Yeah, I'll take that. Tohono Nation. Aluminum. Circuitry. Just so much stuff that we need that we can't really produce. But as we're making maybe a plane a month, that's not great. I'll come down to there. I need more doggos. Complicated circuitry. More research speed. Very good. I'm getting a call from a 1-800 number. No, thank you. I don't want to pick up for that. Awesome. And we should be done with this focus fairly soon. Alright. NCR, you probably moved... You'll move on soon to your next focus. Please go to war with me soon. They don't have a lot of stability. Which is good for us. Over here, Navajo Nation, great. Just keep throwing more divisions over here. That would be awesome. And you know what? I don't want to really think about it. There you go. There you go. Well, I want to see what they're going to do next. Come on. Okay, they declare we're on the Powder Gangers. Where is that? Oh, we have another full legion around here. Awesome. Awesome. Throw you somewhere around here. Needles. Powder gangers. Um, well, city. Whoa! Oh, there's a jaguar cult. That's what happened earlier when the Nueva Aztlan declared war against the Nueva Aztlan. Do they have their own focus tree, maybe? No, it's kind of a generic one. That's okay, though. Actually, who's winning? Let's see. Manpower, divisions, manpower, divisions. Jaguar cult might lose. I don't know. I don't know. We all still have to find the power to gangers, though. If the 80s exist, we can contact them to attack New Canaan. We all have to do it ourselves. we got a worthy foe. Render under Kaisar. Divide at Impera. Oh, overextension. Max planning, minus 10%. Can't search lighting. That's good. Battle of Nipton. Huh. Not bad. Change his name to Kaisar's Landing. We can automatically just seize it? Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Let's do that. Uh, but we'll do that when we get to good war with NCR, which will be in the next episode. Let's see. Reward the loyal tribe. Let's see. Exist, refuse, the White Legs refuse the petition. Gains disloyal tribe. The 80s exist. We contact them to attack New Canaan. If they don't, then we'll do it ourselves. We're not even connected to the 80s, which is somewhere around here. So we need to really touch them in order to do that. Let's wait on that just a little bit. Purpose for Pecos. We need aluminum. We definitely need more aluminum. Well, via Militaris. Militaris. Road eastward. Infrastructure. Cap. Ah, this stuff is not bad. Tame Dog City. Monthly population. That's always good to do. Let's go ahead and do Purpose for Pecos. Um, oil wells have been discovered in the Pecos region. Let us repurpose the colonists there, making them extract oil for use in our military. So, before we end, we got a couple doggos, and we're making a lot more doggos every day. That being said... Give me the doggos. And you know what? Give me even more recon companies. That's probably going to hurt us. But regardless, that's all the time for we have today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we will go to war with the NCR, I guarantee you. And Pinky's complaining again. But either, either way, if you liked the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you tomorrow as the Giants buttheads. And we will. And we must win. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great, great day.